Alright guys, if you watched my Fire Red Omega Let's Try, then you know this is coming. So, let's get into it. I'm going to be doing Pokemon Emerald version. This is a big bad challenge run. And hopefully I'll stick with this one. Because I seem to have a bad track record of not doing that. Um, hopefully you cannot hear my music on my phone. <laughs> this is all sped up, so it sounds terrible. But, you guys get to suffer. I'm recording it, therefore I get better music. Um, I guess I can take this time to define what I'm going to be doing in this challenge after I put in my name because I can't multitask with a damn. And I'm having to do Damien because Sarevich doesn't fit. And, that sucks. But my starter will be named Sarevich, hopefully. Maybe. Okay, microphone, are you cooperating? Thank you. Okay, sorry about that. Yes, I am. Um, de defining what's going on in this challenge. I'm going to be using three pure water types, not a water flying or a water bug. Just pure water. And that limits my options severely. I could have done a pure grass because when you get Trico, I think his full evolution is still only grass. But I couldn't do something like Torchic because its full, its second evolution is fire and fighting. And, well, even Mudkip is only, will be ground in water when he evolves, but I'm not letting him evolve. So that's already one gigantic roadblock. Mudkip will not be able to evolve. Uh, I really don't care what time it is, so it's just gonna be 1.02. Um... I've pretty much already picked what I'm going to be using in separate files. I have done practices of this. Get my potion. Um... I know for a fact I'm going to be using Azumarill. As soon as I can find a Meryl, that is. Uh, I can't exactly remember what else I used yet. Ugh, I should have changed the text speed. Hopefully I can play this at a good enough speed so that the playthrough doesn't take forever. I'm still fully expecting it to. There we go. Actually, no, because my L button sticks. I would normally do that, but, nah. So, let's go over here. We'll let the third Pokemon be a little surprise. I think I actually did have to get the third one for Watson. Um, I tr Let me tell you right now, that fight is damn near impossible with the challenges I'm doing in this. It would be one thing if I had infinite items at my disposal, but I don't. Oh uh, yeah, I, no, yeah, okay. Sorry, I've been playing Fire Red Omega too much. Ugh, don't talk to her twice, you idiot. You fool! Anyway, yeah, you're getting chased by a Zigzagoon. It's kind of pathetic, considering in, like, Sapphire and Ruby, he was getting chased by a Fuchiana. Okay, so, not the Torchic, not the Trico, but the Mudkip. Again, it cannot evolve. It, um, I'm doing a... what I call a naturalist run, wherein I cannot buy items. I have to find them in the wild or have them given to me. So this limits my Pokemon catching opportunity as well as being able to heal outside of battle. Uh, yeah, you're Sarevich now. Feel glad you get my reputation. Which is probably very poor. I do realize other people are doing Emerald at this very moment, but I've had this in the making for quite a while, been practicing it a lot. 
and playing Pokemon Fire Red Omega recently and doing my Let's Try of it kind of just put me in the mood to do this. Give me a potion, please. Please. Thank you. I like potions. But yeah, I'm also not doing very much grinding, if any, except when it comes to Watson. That is a very... I haven't even run into a wild Pokemon yet. This is bad. So I'm already going to save. I'm also going to try like hell not to abuse save states, even though that's probably going to end up happening anyway. But then again, it's kind of difficult not to do that for me. You know, I didn't check this Pokemon's nature yet. Relax, I don't even know what that does. I could probably tell by the stats, though. Okay. This looks like it could play out in my favor. I think last time I got one that had terrible defenses. And that's really what caused my downfall when it came to Watson. But we'll see that when we get there. Yay. No, that's not nearly as useful as it sounds. And Mudkip doesn't get mud shot until it evolves into um, Marsh Tomp. So, in other words, I'm never getting it. Anyway, yeah, I can't get a Wingle here, which I really wanted to last time, but it's flying water. And it wouldn't really help anyone. Anyway. It's doubly weak to electricity. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the no grinding thing because that was a little last minute decision because I do realize you can just grind until you're able to take on everything so yeah I'm really not sure what I'm going to do about that but I am going to go through the grass here damn it show up this is lame thank you I'm entitled to at least one wild Pokemon in this. But the challenge isn't that hard right now, as you can tell. It only becomes a problem after the second gym. I did choose water types because they are a major help on the first gym. And it doesn't really require much grinding to get past that one. Uh, what's the second gym in this one? It's been so long since I've played. Um... Oh yeah, the fighting gym. That one's so forgettable. But I think one of the Pokemon I do get learns a flying type move anyway, so it's really not that difficult. Okay. And that's a dog barking. That is not my own Pokemon. I don't think that thing, that, that thing, that thing is tameable at all. Oh goody. And one of the bigger dogs from out back are loose. Ugh, gotta love animals. This is why I'm a cat person, they don't do these things. They avoid these shenanigans. Anyway, I won't be getting my second Pokemon for quite a while. So until then, Cerevis just gets to hog up all the experience for himself. Anyway, I don't really expect this to be that interesting. Uh, the only reason I wanted to do it was because it is a pretty tough challenge in my opinion. I don't know of anybody who's ever tried something like this, so in a way I feel like it'll be interesting if only for the challenge again. Redundant bear is redundant. So now I'm going to run around. <sighs> I guess I can kill my music now. Okay. And I clicked outside the window trying to grab my phone, that's fantastic. Yep. Let's just get this over with. Poochiana, yay! Oops. 
Sorry about that. Dandy Camp has a 10 minute time limit, like I say in almost every video now. So, all I was saying was, was it you that was barking Poochiana? And I'm like, no, because I know it was barking. Haha, -ha, lol. Yeah. Quality commentary, I, I'm telling you. Level 8! Yay! Oh yeah, also a little thing that sucks. I can't do clock-based events, therefore I cannot grow berries. Which, I was abusing the hell out of that when I was doing this on No Cash GBA. So, I pretty much only have everything that's already available to me. I don't get to grow anything. And it's probably going to be very annoying. I don't know how far I'm going to get in this run before I say screw it and quit. Or at least say screw it and break my own challenge rules. I know the Elite Four will be no picnic. But I really don't think any of them have any Pokemon that can own me. Except for maybe... Well, all of them. Ugh. Okay, Wumple's dead. That was fun. You don't have anything? You do. Yes, I did. Twice. Because these things are so interesting, right? Thank you, Critical. Now miss? No. <sighs> you know, usually by now I have my Wingull, my Poochiana, my Zigzagoon. Oh yeah, I do need to catch a Zigzagoon. Um, because their ability pickup is very helpful. I don't think that would go against the naturalist run, because you are finding them sort of naturally. So, I'm going to do that, but I'll do it in between videos. Because this one's almost over anyway, so I'll just get as much done as possible and then come back. I know. Hooray for being interrupted! Anyway, I'm going to try to finish this video. Hopefully me talking is an indication that I am recording. But other people usually don't take that hint. Because they are stupid. Um... Just level up, Mudkip. Level up! Uh, I don't like these things. Oh, hey, what do you know? That was very convenient. Thank you for learning water gun. Okay, now go down here. Yay, potion. I like potions. They taste like health. Ah, damn it. And at that, I'm going to go ahead and end this one a little bit earlier than I should, but... Ugh, God damn it. So, I'll end it right here. I'll see you guys later.